Alright, so Nightcrawler here again with the SCX-10 Honcho. Um, in my last video, I said I was going to do a video, another video, on my homemade trailer hitch. And <coughs> so that's what I'm here today going to be doing. And yeah, so I'm going to be taking it, taking it apart and everything. All that fun stuff. I had a certain screwdriver here I was going to use. There it is. All right. So right now I'm just taking taking it all apart. There's there's three screws in it, and I think three screws is better for it. Anything more, anything less would not wouldn't work at all. So that's that's what I'm using. And right now I'm just trying to get all of the all these screws out and if you cut them like I did which wasn't really smart because I messed the whole all the thread up so now I gotta like re-thread it kind of with the with the nut and I mean, it'll come it'll come off and it's it's pretty simple you just gotta you just gotta be patient with it really Which I have barely any of patients. Patients are like my number one not have in my life, though. So. The threads on this one are messed up too because I went and tried to cut it with a dull, dull cutter and it's not really working very well right now. So I gotta, I gotta just keep, keep trying on it. I might have to, I might have to like hacksaw it off or something. I don't, I'm not really sure, but I don't know if it's gonna come off. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter that much if it comes off. Just would like to show everybody how I made mine. But anyway, it's. It's fairly simple. I mean, it's just two pieces of erector set that I used. I cut down to size so it would fold over. And it works pretty good. I had to put uh, there it is. There's these little spacers I got at uh, Ace Hardware. Uh, I think it was like they were 25 cents a piece. So it wasn't that expensive, but I mean, for what it's worth, you're really better off getting these because they help. They help if you don't if you don't have them. Then what's gonna happen is this is just gonna pinch together and crush. So you just gotta put these little spaces in there. They're just plastic, so they're they're not tremendously strong. But for what I'm using it for. They work good. And as you can see here on the bottom, I just turned it on. I don't know how I did that. As you can see here on the bottom, I don't know if you can or not, but as you can see here on the bottom, it's a triangular piece that's that I just rounded off so it wasn't sharp. And the corners on it are folded. That makes it a lot easier too. So everything just stays in one place. Mine is a little weird. I gotta put um, little spacers in the back so zip zip ties will work. That's what I need to get. I just need to get little zip ties, push it because right now it comes forward and back, but that doesn't really it doesn't really do anything. I mean you don't notice it much, but anyway, that's that's pretty much all it is in a little bit when it gets when it's really nice out. And when I have a battery charge for this, I'll take it out and I'll have a video on that, probably, most, li most likely, because I like going out and just doing trail runs, because I have quite a bit of woods by my house, and I'm not, I don't really live anywhere near a city, I mean, I'm, I'm in a city, technically, but... Um, 
this isn't going in very well. I can't see the hole at all. There we go, perfect. All right, so that's back in. And when once you're once you have all your pieces that you're gonna use to make your trailer hitch, it all becomes a lot easier. Like you really just can't start out and say, "Hey, I'm gonna make a trailer hitch." It won't work at all. So I'm just trying to get this screw back on because it none of the other ones are coming apart. I'm not kill myself right now to get them apart I'm gonna have to hacksaw them to make the threads better but right now they're just not they're not coming apart but that's okay I think the majority of people that are gonna be watching these videos are gonna understand what has to happen in order to get the same thing that I did here I mean you can use uh sheet sheet steel that's what i'm probably gonna upgrade this to i have a big sheet a big thick sheet out in my garage or my dad's garage but that that'll work too i mean you could probably go to the junkyard or even look on the side of the road anything oh if you have an old car take the car door i don't know whatever whatever you want to use whatever Whatever makes you happy to use, use it. If you're allowed to, don't don't go out in public and cut someone's car door off if that's what you're gonna use. But yeah, for the most part, it's just it's what it is. There's not much to it. Um, for strength wise, I mean, it, for whatever you're pulling, it's gonna go down to here. That's about it. I mean. I don't think you're going to be pulling anything over five pounds. Maybe another cr truck. But I think even with this big battery on it, it's this is under seven. Set, maybe it's seven. I'm not sure. I never really have weighed it before. But for the most part, it it's doing its job. I don't really have a trailer built for it yet. I just kind of, I just use it for a tow hitch. I don't. I don't, like I said, I just I don't have a trailer. I do have another crawler that I just kind of tow around with it sometimes. I just hook a chain to it. And yeah, it just, I'll just tow it around. I'll do whatever I feel like doing with it. And that's, that's pretty much all I have with this. I'll probably be making another video on this when I upgrade it uh, later on. Probably not, maybe a couple months. Probably before my summer break ends, I'll be making it. And yeah, that's that's it. It's just, I don't know if I said before, but it's just a piece of Erector set. Um, it's just flat with holes in it. It makes, made it a lot easier. But yeah, that's my trailer hitch for my truck. So, Nightcrawler out.